excuse my sloppy handwriting. Pollo, how you spell this out, Shayla? G E no G I S E A U. I think it's something like that. Anyway, Puerto Rican style. Pollo guisao. And we're gonna do it. Then we're gonna do it. Callate. We're gonna do it the fast way because guess what? This chicken is still kind of frozen. So the plan is to throw it in the pot and let that <laughs> boil and cook. Wait, but this is later. Why does it have eggs inside? Eggs. Eggs in the chicken. And she no pregnant. She no pregnant. Inside she have a bag of her intestines. Okay. 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 We're gonna drop it like it's hot, like Snoop Doggy Dog do, and say, okay, wait. While she is boiling le chicken. Wait, do they know how to swim? Coming permiso? Does it know how to swim? No, this is not for swimming, okay? <laughs> oh, I didn't know Let's get some ingredients. Even though this is not the main cooking session of the... Back up the camera, don't come in my face so close, okay? Even though this is not the main cooking because I will add all the ingredients I want later, the plan is to get the chicken cook because it's frozen, right? You can't cook with frozen food. I put it in the jacuzzi right here. Look, check it out. But you said it's no swimming involved. It's not swimming, but it's relaxing, okay, taking a break, okay. Okay? okay? It died. Let it let it rest in peace. I'm still gonna put some seasoning because you know I want it to take flavor to in the beginning anyway, even though it's just boiling a little bit. But later we will hook it up with all the ingredients. I put some onion powder, I don't measure. I just throw everything work my way. All the kids love my food, all my neighbors and people they come over and they enjoy. Very good she This is open complete seasoning from the company Badia. Can you help me, Shaila? Oh yes. Tell them what this is. This is the garlic salt by Lowry, like a lawyer. But Lowry is garlic salt you put in the mix. Make, make the good. Yes, that bien. We good. open this here, and you know, it don't matter. Like, again, we don't measure anything, we just sprinkle. This is not a cooking show that's gonna tell you how to measure things. Maybe sometimes I will, maybe sometimes I don't. But today, we're just throwing everything in there because that's the skill that I got that pays the bills, okay? What else do we need to make this delicious and magnifique? Everything fresh is always better, like garlic, fresh garlic, fresh onion, fresh this, fresh that. But if you're not fresh, Fresh, then just go dry. Cilantro, right? Every Puerto Rican needs cilantro, adobo, and sazon in their cabinet because if you don't got Goya, then oh Goya. Here we go. Cilantro, it give it flavor tambien. It's the Puerto Rican flavor. Now, I'm not gonna throw nothing else. Oh, wait, let's. I forgot the adobo. Adobo give it the salty flavor. Salty flavor, you don't want to make too salty because then you'll be drinking a lot. Like bacalao. Okay. You got to put the lid on it because, you know, you want it to get very hot and steaming boiling. This little hole is good because the steam will come out and your house, whole house, no catch fire. You put the light and, you know, if anything spill on the stove like this, look, you just wipe it like this, okay? Just clean it off and then that's it. Just do it and come back. Hello. And now I will check. Le chicon. She's boiling now. So I will just stir the water and the seasonings. Let it get all through and out the chicon. Le chicon. Now, people may say, if you boil le chicon, and you're gonna get all the flavor out and all that. In reality, le chicon has a lot of grease. If you boil le chicon, you get rid of a lot of that excess grease. So you make it more leaner. And it's better for you and more healthy. So for now, I will leave it like this. And when we come back, I will flip le chicon to its backside, okay? Or its front side, because it's on its backside right now. Thank you very much. We check le chicon again. The jacuzzi is bubbling. Now I'm gonna flip this thing over. Hey, don't show my junk drawer, okay? It's mess right now. Anyway, that's where I have all my utensils. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we're going to, woo! We're going to flip this sucker one time. You need to get a tan on the other Come side. Come on, fat boy, roll it. Oh! Nice and brown. Look at the rump on that chicong. Extra thick. Smack it, smack it. Ass, 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 ass. Oop, beep. So now we let it swim on his belly you for a little. You cannot leave him face down. Why? Because he can drown. Look, he have no head. He has been decapitated completely, no head. He will survive. He will survive, okay? Está bien. ¿Qué? ¿Qué, qué? He he. Yeah. What is this boy talking about? Oh, it's looking pretty, pretty good. This chicon was frozen. Oh, wow, look. The skin is pulling back on the elbows. I wonder if we should flip it back over. We'll leave it for a little bit longer, okay? And then we come back and we check it out and see if it's good because I don't know. 
Hola, now we check the chicken again one more time. Oh, everything is getting crazy around it, but ignore that. That's just the seasoning. I'm going to flip this bad boy, this sucker right here, one more time and see what is happening to it. Oh, she's a fat one. Roll over, bimbo. She's looking pretty good. In a few minutes, I will remove her and I will start breaking her down into pieces. Thank you very much. So we're gonna remove this out of the pot now and try to transfer it onto that cutting board. So come here, look at the chicot. I will insert in the inside lid. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh my God, I can't get it in. Something's going on. I have to lift it. Where did my partner go? She's not helping. Oh my God, water is leaking everywhere from the back of this damn thing. I bring them up, I bring them up. Darn you. Okay, I'm just going to put it there. For now, you see all the fat and grease and fluid that come out of the I shall pour it down the drain. I know people say that sometimes the best part of the chicong, but I think you have too many grease. Woo! Too much smoking in here. Oh my God, secondhand smoke is no good for you. So I'm going to wash the pan because I will start the new recipe on how to make the pollo. Ow, I burned myself. It's hot. I will make the pollo guisao now starting from scratch from brand new clean pot. Let's give this pot a shower. Oh my God. Hey, your hot pocket is getting wet. Hey girl, why are you in another dimension? Oh my God, I have big problem here. I'm visiting this the chicken's parents. This pot, hold down the drain. Okay. And we shall rinse, rinse, rinse. It's good to dry this bottom right here. Dry the bottom. It's like a girl's bottom. Back on the stove and we will put the ingredients in there but for now we're going to head back to the chicken because we got to chop it up like karate style okay mr miyagi says so okay here's le chicong i'm gonna use my tongue to tong tong tongs let's check inside let's give it one gynecology test one pap smear huh? ow she's too hot we shall start now pay attention right here we will cut the leg ah she's hot i need the glove oh look She's raw in the middle still. We will still cut open the chicong. She's like a medium rare chicong or something, still bleeding. But anyway, I am going to, before I add these pieces in the pot, because I want to cook other stuff, put something in the pot first, like delicious seasoning and some other accessories, right? To cut the chicken properly, you got to find the joint. And I don't mean this joint okay i mean this joint right here i'm having trouble but anyway you go where the leg is she bending and you just slicing upward okay and then you got two drumstick and bleeding tie we remove the wing here Tra. turn it around another wing oh so easy cutting the wing now we stab down the middle of the chest and cut open. I know people may say it's disgusting. Why it's like looking cooking, looking bloody, but hey, do you know what? It's still gonna cookie because I not finish. This is just the beginning, okay? She was frozen, now she not frozen. Sometimes to get to these rib bones, you need to use a hammer. And I don't mean MC hammer. I just mean a hammer to break it, you know? I'm going to wash my hands so I can start putting the ingredients in there. Because the important thing is to put the deliciousness of the ingredients and some vegetables and whatever you like in there and then you understand how the flavor is, okay? I'm going to come here to the fridge and I'm going to get my mother's famous recipe I create, it's called sofrito, it is delicious you add a nice amount in there, check it you look, you look, you like, okay oh, it smells delicious, I have peppers and onions and garlic and cilantro and some deliciousness in there, a secret ingredient I can tell you, okay? Now, we got that one thing, and I shall get, because certain people, I don't like zanahoria, which is carrot. Certain people like zanahoria, carrot. I'm gonna put like one piece in there, one big one like that. Hold this for me, sir. Thank you. And then, let's see. Spinach, no spinach. Suddenly, I don't even know, sir. Potato, the potato, I will have to get, oh, here's one good potato, I think. No, this is good potato. Is this good potato? Maybe I have to go to get the portero in the garage. Hey, look at this. Empty, empty bottle in there. Okay, let me get the potato in the garage. The potato in the garage. Hey, somebody left the light on. That's why I'm gonna let this keep going in here. Oh, papita, papita. Two potato, one potato, two potato, three potato, four. If you hold the doors behind my car, mama, and 
So now, we get what do you call the potato peeler to peel potato and what is this? What is this? <laughs> Just joking. The best place to slice it is in the garbage. That way you don't have to clean the mess, okay? You got one mess, two mess, three mess, four mess, five mess. It all just go in there. Tray directly. Carrots are easy to shred like this, okay? Oh, very easy, very nice. Just do it. Yeah. Just like that, you see? How pretty? I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to get la potato o the patato. Patato for tomato. And you just slice these, you know? I've been doing this for a while, so I don't know if it's more difficult for some people who are trying, starting out for the first time. You just shred this, just shave it like that. Get rid of all the skin. Some people like potato with skin, and the skin actually have the most best ingredients in it. It's healthy. For my pollo guisao, I don't leave the skin, okay? Because I don't want brown potato in there, not that I'm discriminating or everything, because I like every flavor, okay? Ow! I almost cut myself, but I just hit my nail. I'm almost done with these oh, potatoes. Some of them is flying on the floor. I would have to get my sweeper man to clean them up later. So now that the potatoes are sliced, we we'll give them one slight rinse in the sink. Plop, plop. Okay, we're going to come over here. I'm not got done cutting le chicon. I do might need a hammer. We are going to turn this on. Come show the camera this thing that's happening here. This is important here. Complete season again. We will start here. Complete seasoning. Yes. We got the adobo in there which has cilantro fresh cilantro so we're not gonna add more cilantro because you don't want to be cilantrized okay this is new garlic this is onion powder from badia we're gonna just throw that in there like that the next thing adobo goya is best flavor but it really doesn't matter because i got this adobo too adobo is adobo but this is the best because I always use since childhood. Whoa, not too much salt, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Garlic. I need a smaller garlic powder. Oh, she opened. I can put garlic, 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 garlic. Garlic is good. It's not very salty. So you can put a lot of garlic if you like garlic. And then just in case, I mean, I don't have to add this one. But this has garlic and it has salt. But so we're going to add just a tiny bit because we put a lot of adobo. And adobo has salt, ya. Yeah? You know, tra 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 tra. Okay, now that these ingredients are going to cook, I am going to add a virgin, an extra virgin. She like it the noodle. To the to this situation, and the other thing for the situation is an onion. Fresh onion is always the best. And guess what? I already have some chopped up, so that is the best thing ever. You just go in there and you just throw it in like so. A nice amount the cebollitas is good for that okay now we will continue i i'm going to need one tomato sauce i'm going to plug it in go over coffee maker plug it in and open la salsita hey you see what happened when you only pay eight dollars for something when you should spend 25 in bed bath and beyond and get something better because this a piece of junk from Wally World, aka Walmart, eight dollars. It worked anyway. So here we go. I will put out nine one spoon, okay? And come, look at my recipe in here. She's starting to smell delicious. She's starting to look delicious. How was that, girl? Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook a little bit there with the onions and stuff like that and a little bit of oil to see if it catch delicious flavor. It looks kind of green because of the sofrito, but you will see the color will change. Ay, Dios mío, esta niña, she want more of the leftovers from last night because I cooked so good. Okay, you check it this out, all right? Is she's cooking good. Maybe I wonder if I need one little bit oil or maybe a little bit of butter. Butter might be good, but I don't know. So we wait now. Let me chop the carrot. I will chop the rid of that point. Chop the carrot. Ah, she's getting harder and harder by the minute. Is that good? Yeah, that's good pieces. Just throw these things in there. Whoa, ay Dios mío, que paso? Taran. This one, this one. Then you got the potato, potato one, potato two. Well, actually, it's the same potato. Maybe I should call it smaller so I can cook properly. That might be better. You think? One down the middle and tra, 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 tra. I think we can work with that. Show my picture. Show what's happening here in this session. Oh yes, yummy, yummy delicious. This is gonna be yummy, yummy delicious. 
While I let this cook up and steam up just a slight bit, I will go back to cutting le chicon. We got wings, I can throw those in there. I will throw the chicken in there. This is no big deal, that is half raw and some cooked because in reality, some people start this like this completely raw chicken and it don't matter. People still survive, you know? You just got to clean your cutting board really good when you're done because you don't want any problems with any salmonella or anything like that, any kind of diseases falling into your family plan, you know? Oh my God, I'm having trouble cutting. I need a hammer, hammer. Ay, Dios mío. Charita, you're not gonna finish that pocket, but why you leave it there? I need a Let's go. Why the camera follow me to the garage to get a hammer? Yes, it's becoming delicious. You know what? We need some water in there because, you know, in order to get it cooking more, you know, you need to always add water to the food because are you expected to cook and boil or anything like that? I don't know how much water right now, but we're just gonna throw a little bit and test it out. And I would add the salsita de tomate, tomato sauce, because it's gonna be a stew, okay? It's gonna be a chicong stew. Okay, right now, she not looking too very pretty, not too very good looking, but it's gonna look very too good looking soon, okay? Where we was, right here? Ay, Dios mío, she's bleeding on me. This, my mother taught me to just bring the hammer to the kitchen when you have to fight a chicken. So I will take different pieces and just drop it in there because, you know, for cooking. And always better. I keep cutting into knives because everybody wants to get pieces of le chicon, you know? What we got here? I think this is supposed to be like a wing, but I I not cut the wing right, but it's okay. The other side, I don't know what happened to the wing. Okay, and we got thighs here. This is a thigh. I just break the thigh bone on my hand, okay? Because I don't care. This is one thigh. Look at that excess skin. I throw that out, okay? Now we're gonna cut this other breast piece. What the hell is this? Oh my God, they left the chicken gizzard in there and it had a piece of ice on it. Look at that. Oh, Dios mio. I love chicken gizzards. Some Chinese people make it fried. You just get this excess gooey, chewy, stewy part out the chicken. I know it might look a little gross. This is the connection. I don't want to see that hose. It looked like a freaking artery. I'm cutting that off right there. Human people don't have gizzards. Only chicken do. They say something. My mom tell me that this like, I don't know, when they eat, it clean the insides or something. But it tastes slimy. We're going to take the hammer again and we are going... Ay, Dios mío, she not cutting right. Let me try this side. And I'm a righty, and I'm using a lefty with my hammer. Oh, beautiful, she's cutting, she's cutting. Here we go again. That's wrong. Don't worry, everything is sanitary here, okay? Plus the heat will kill the germs. I never die. My mom, she do like this all the time, okay? This excess fat, I'm gonna just throw it to the side because who wants excess fat, right? You don't want no extra carne on your hips. Okay, let me move that over. I need to lower this a little bit because we don't want it to cook too fast right now without all the chicken in there. Oh, she's looking betty, betty, pretty right now. Just. So we are still cooking. Cooking is in progress, okay? I am surprised the kids are not bothering me right now. That's because they got video games and they got the iPads and the tablets and they don't wanna talk to you when they got that. So that's okay, I just do it. Okay, these might have bones, you have, some people have to, oh no, this is very, very dangerous. You can have like little bones sticking out of these meats and then the kids can choke. And then you say, oh, what happened to you? Oh, choking on a bone. And you say, well, I didn't do it, okay? I'm not a chicken. Okay, so I take some bone out so nobody have problem choking on them and put some meat in there. And this is the last piece now, so, well, not really. I, I'm going to destroy that rib cage right there. Let's see, this pieces. Oh, this is just bone. I take this bone out. I know it's looking very sloppy, but the end result, oh my God, you're not gonna believe how delicious this my food tastes. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands first because I want to stir this food. I stare at it, stir it, stir it, you know, like in the kitchen, twisting like a stir fry, yeah. Oh my God, I need to add some more water. Take a look at this. 
It is looking scrumshy, scrumshy. Okay, I'm going to spit at me. How dare you? Okay, we're going to add some more water to my stew. She's looking very pretty. Uh, I might need some more water in a minute, but first let me go back. Wait, I need my rug. Always need a rug to clean. To clean as you go, your big mess. Now that I only have rib cage left, I do have some thigh meat here. I will remove this thigh meat and add this thigh meat to the stew. There we go. This is very good thigh meat right here. Very good meat. It's working. I don't need that. I don't know, this is neck bone and it's kind of look kind of ugly. Maybe I don't add it in. Maybe we don't, maybe I, I can just take small pieces of meat off of this backbone because nobody really want the backbone. My mom likes soaking on the backbone, but I don't want to soak on the backbone. So this, look it like this. And that's about it. I think I'm going to throw the rest away. This right here. Oh my God. I hope the garage door get fixed because the truss is coming tomorrow and I have to throw all these raw bones outside because then somebody gonna think there was murder. It's gonna stink like nasty. Okay, so in the dirty trash, everything go. And now we will wash this. And here you have to get all the pudrición. Anyway, this is not a washing dishwashing video, okay? This is a cooking video. I am making something so I will stop that right now. I wash my hands with some jabón, which is soap. I don't know where my sidekick went. She's so lazy. She quit on me. Let's go back to the stove where we got the kitchen and twisting like stir fry chicken, okay? But it's not stir fry chicken. She's looking so beautiful. I gotta put some more agua because the agua evaporates. And we have to let it cook for a while because it was pit cooked but the rest was raw. Now the reason why I boil it, I told you before. If you don't listen, open your ears, okay? I told you it was frozen, okay? So I'm getting more water in my Orlando Magic Cup. You see that? And I will add plenty water to make sure that it have lot of delicious sauce you want to pour on top of your rice because I'm making plain white rice. And a lot of people don't like plain white rice because they say, hey, what's the flavor? I got no flavor. So I say, you know what? I make it the pollo guiso. You throw it on top of the rice and you eat that shit like that. If you don't like it, don't eat it, okay? Because in this house, you eat what I make. You don't eat it, then too bad. You go too bad and you start. This is serious right here, okay? Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's something special somebody told me about. It's called cumin. I call it. This gives the meat some delicious flavor. I never tried it in my pollo guisado, but if you put it in your picadillo, which is ground beef, it come out slamming. So we're gonna add a dash of that because we don't want to make it too much cooing. We don't want to put too much in your food, okay? Now, and the other last thing, besides the comino, I was looking for bay leaf. My mom always put the bay leaf in it. So let me take out the thyme, the parsley, the pink season salt, the parmesan, the cinnamon. I mean, the Goya vinegar, more cinnamon, chopped onion, chives, oregano, onion powder, teriyaki, adobo, sopita lipton. Oh, here it is, bay leaves. Do you know what? It gives it flavor. So you just pour one or two, okay? Just do it and come back. They're dry, they look like this. You throw one and you throw two. And that, she give it flavor, okay? So for now, I'm going to close it and we will be back. And now I am preparing the rice. So far I put three cups of rice in there with some water because my mother always teach me to clean the rice. You don't know where the sh** been. You don't know if somebody was scratching their butt while they was picking the rice. So it's always good to rinse, okay? And then I will strain it so I don't lose any rice grains because this is the last rice that I have. Rice. You know why I say it like that? Because Spanish people, in Spanish, rice is arroz. And a lot of people have trouble saying that because they don't know how to roll their L's. R, 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 arroz. So I say rice, you know? But people sometimes, they pronounce it ajo. But I don't speak it like that. I say arroz the proper way, okay? Now, I am finishing draining the rice. And people always tell me, how do you make rice? My rice don't come out real good. It's too sticky, it's too dry, it's not cooked. The way my mother taught me is every cup of rice gets one and a half cup of water. So we got three cup of rice. We're gonna put three and a half cup of water, okay? Wait, yes, you only adding half a cup, okay? Half a cup. 
to the same ratio of the rice. Three cup of rice, three and a half water. Four cup of rice, four and a half water. Five cup of rice, five and a half water. How stupid can you be? Here's my cup. I'm going to measure three and a half cup of water. Come to me over here, one. You will take the filtered water because it's the best, delicious, tasty. Hey, back up the camera, okay? Don't be in my grill. Okay, we got one. This is the second cup of water. That's two. Now we put in the third cup of water. Now, I will tell you that I didn't completely, completely have the complete three cup of water, okay? I mean, three cups of rice. So I'm going to put a little less than half on this second one right here. So this is the water that you have to do to the water rice ratio. For water, you always have to add, I mean, for rice, you always have to add a little bit of oil. Put it on high temperature in the beginning because you want the water to, put to boil and get hot and start bubbling. When the water starts go to dry, then you start lowering the volume, okay? And then you don't want to burn the rice. You can use the virgin or you can use not the virgin. I'm going to use the virgin because she's pure, okay? And you add just a little tad you know a little bit there not too much a little bowl of cloud of, of oil and so you know oil and water they don't mix they don't like each other you know and then the best salt ever is the pink himalayan check this out this is a pink himalayan salt plant it's very healthy to have in your house and so is the pink Himalayan salt to go inside your body is better than the table salt that they make. It's called iodized salt. Don't trust that thing. That's chemical to kill you. My mother, she never teach me how much salt, how much oil. So I do by just looking. Only the rice and the water, I know the amount. More or less, we have three cup of rice. You don't want it to be too blank. So maybe this much of Himalayan salt rice, okay? It look like maybe a little more than a teaspoon or something, okay? You just put that in there. And the key to the... Oh, yes, me. The key to the good rice is that you have to stir it and when the water starts to evaporate, you have to cover it, okay? Because covering it... Oh, wait, look. Come, check my Qigong. Ooh, she is looking so beautiful. Let me get in the kitchen, wrist twisting like a stir fry. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is Le Chicon with potatoes and zanahoria, which is the carrots. And I have mucho coloring in there, mucha salsita to go on the rice, okay? So we will continue to cover this and let it to keep cooking. Let me get the lid for the arroz. Ay, Dios mío, it's setting all of my cups. My containers come out. Let's see if this one works. Oh yes, it's the right size, but we will not cover it yet, okay? It is not time. I got this on number eight right now. It's because I wanted the high temperature, okay? Come over here, I need to grab this little spatula type of spoon. I use this to stir my rice. So I'm going to wash this because it has the carne on it, the meat. And we want the clean spatula for the rice. So I put the oil, I put the salt, I put the water, I put the rice. Now we're gonna stir it a little bit, all right? Like it's stir fry, but it's not stir fry. So we swishing in the kitchen, okay? So now we leave that like this. We're gonna keep eyes on it, okay? Because you don't keep eyes on it, you're gonna burn the damn thing. It's number eight, let's wait for that to boil and then we will cover it low in the temperature, okay? Okay. I will be adding, ho ho ho, green giant extra sweet corn because I have to be delicious, you know? I don't want plain corn, I want sweet corn. So the, the, the water is starting to go down and the rice will continue to cook. Okay, I have it on number six now because I don't want it to burn. So the water's almost gone. So when the water is gone, we will add the lid. This is the lid. And it also have a hole to let the evaporation and the steam come out, okay? I put the corns in here, the green giant corns. Extra delicious sweet to cook. Should I add salt to that? Do I have to? I don't know. Let's check Le Chicon. Look how beautiful she's looking. Oh, yummy, delicious. Let's stir that up. Oh, she tasting so good. Matter of fact, we need a taste test. Pass me one of those paper plates over there. Thank you, sir. We shall cover this. And let me see if it's time to cover the rice. Yes, it looks like it's time to cover the rice. Check the rice. You see that the rice doesn't look like it had water anymore. We shall cover it. And we will bring this down to number two for peace. Okay. Oh, I thought you wasn't recording. Okay, so that's it for now. I will be back to show you more. I will be tasting Le Chicon to see if I need to add more season. Mm. You should try this cameraman. You want me to? Of course. Okay, I shall do right now. Very hot, very good. How's the taste? Very on point. Do I need more seasoning? I think I need a little bit. It is bit perfect, okay? 
You sure? It's very perfect, okay? You sure you sure? Yes, it is perfect. Okay, let's take it to someone else and let them try, okay? Should we give to Gwendola? Gwendola! Oh, Gwendola! Leshy corn is ready. Gwendola, I need you for taste testing, por favor, Gwendola. I will find a small piece of leshy corn. Leshy corn wants to be in your mouth, please. I need to find one That section. sounds wrong, but I do not care. Oh, there hey, she is. Hey, Gwendola. Came out I of her cave. I today test something, okay? Come to over here. Do the flavor seeking. Where's my knife? Just right here. Knife. Okay, anyway, we don't need no knife because guess what? My food and my meat is very tender and it's muy caliente, Gwendila! Okay, yo sabe how to cook. Go ahead, pruébelo, Gwendila. Okay. okay. ¿Qué son eso? These don't That's look like cebollas. Onion, onion. Oh, okay. Let us. Do you want another piece, cameraman? Let's see. Uh, do I have to? Okay, let me. Don't mind let's, if I do. Proba, see. proba. Uy, caliente. Should I put more seasoning? Let wait, this one with the cartilage? Wait, no way! I like it, the cartilage is mine! Oh, wait, let me see something. Mmm! She's so crunchy. Mmm! The onion! Very good. How is chicon? Le chicon is. It's como good. I think everybody. Mm. This has a lot of flavor. Come on, I still think it needs a little bit mm -hmm. more. A little bit more what? Because pepper's good, it tastes nice and flavorful. A little bit of everything. A little bit more. Just a little, a little bit, little mm -hmm. bit more. Then it can be, you can sell for a million dollars that piece of chicken. Look, complete is everything. So we're gonna put a little more. No, you know what? You know what? Instead of that, I think the garlic salt. Because it needs some sun. A little more salt, okay? So we're just gonna sprinkle some in there. Okay, not too much because we don't want to have a salt fit, okay? Now come here and look. We shall stir that in, stir that in, and we will let it to continue to simmer in the pot on like number two or something like that, okay? Until the rice is ready, until the corn is hot. And when I serve all these people here, they will fall in love with my cooking like they always do. Cause I'm special and I'm number one, okay? Number one in the kitchen. Oh, look at the corn, she's boiling, she's boiling very, very, ooh, ah, hot water, no good. She's boiling very beautifully, okay? They was frozen, so we got to make sure that it's hot in the inside. Now, let's check the chicong. I mean, the right white rice. Oh, it's looking very, very pretty. You see, it's not burning in the bottom. I'm stirring it for scrumptiousness. Ow. Oh, the steam, look. Yay, turn the vent on. Hey, I don't want hair in my poop. Show the, show the kitty. I did show the kitten. Hey, bring him back. Mira, muchacha, come. This is my baby blue. Look at those blue baby eyes. Oh, you're so cute. Give me kisses. Give me kisses. Hey, give me kisses. I love you. I love you, baby. And that's my little kitty kitty. I need the apron. I cannot forget the apron. I'm going to take Deorita a piece of Le Chicon. And you're going to see her reaction. Maybe you we can throw it in the video. Maybe we can. Maybe she don't want to be recorded because she don't got no makeup on. But maybe you can hear, just hear her voice say, oh my God, this is such a good stuff here, okay? Let me find a piece of delicious chicon, delicious chicon, delicious chicon. Wait, I don't want to take out all the onions because, mm, 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 bam. We will return in a moment. I am taking the chicon in for a taste test to my, to my girlfriend. Hello, we're not gonna record you, but I want you to try le chicon, okay? Oh Lord. No, don't oh Lord me, okay? I'm sick. Yes. Hold on. What are you eating? Oh my God, she's always eating ice because she's a hot baby. Ready? Okay, oh Lord bless you. Listen Lord. to her reaction, because I am the best cook. I tell you I'm number one. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Is it hot? Yeah, it tastes so good. Mm. Okay, stop feeding me. That's gonna be a bit. Oh my god, she's choking! Quick, Heimlich maneuver! <laughs> and this is the final dish of the pollo guisao con white rice, con corn, and that's it. Just do it and come back. 
so i hope you like this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace